Example number 23. Suppose the demand function for x thousand of a certain item is p equals 90 plus 60 divided by ln x, where x is greater than 1 and p is in dollars. Find the marginal revenue. Well, we have to remember what revenue is. Revenue is price times quantity. And they've given us a price, 90 plus 60 over the natural log of x. And we know that we're selling x of these, more than one. So this is going to be times x, our quantity. So our revenue of x is 90 times x plus 60x over the natural log of x. Now, marginal revenue just means the derivative of the revenue. And so that's going to be 90 plus. Now, remember, this is a quotient. So we've got to do our numerator is 60x. And its der derivative is 60. Our denominator is natural log of x, and its derivative is 1 over x. So the rule says denominator times the derivative of the numerator, 60, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. All of that, not the 90, but all of this is over x squared. So I can see one reduction that's easy. This x and this x will cancel out. And I have 90 plus 60 natural log of x minus 60. And each of those is over x squared. So I'm going to put this over x squared. And if I put a, an x squared in that denominator, I have to also put it in the numerator. And the last thing I could do is I could write all of this over x squared. So 90x squared plus 60 natural log of x minus 60, and all of that is over x squared. So this is my marginal revenue. Then they asked me to find r prime of 8. So that will be 90 times 8 squared plus 60 natural log of 8 minus 60. All of that is over 8 squared. So I'll use my calculator to get my numerator number. 90 parentheses 8 to the second plus 60 natural log of 8 close parentheses minus 60 is 5824.766 divided by 64. That's going to come out to 91 and a penny. So the, our revenue is changing at the eighth item by $91 and a penny.